Hey friends, today we're going to do two things. We're going to find out if you can take a janky old aluminum canoe and actually fix the leaks with Flex Seal. We're going to give this a try, plus we're going to give it a little paint job, a little refurb, and turn this old guy into a real shark. Upon examination, it's obvious that this canoe has been worked on before. There were spots of black flex seal and some of the rivets had been changed. So, I took it out on the water and found only one place that the water came in. And it actually had one small leak when I put it on the water for the first time. It wasn't right here. This was, this didn't leak. It was actually right here and uh, it was this rivet. You can tell this rivet's been replaced. After spraying that spot really good with gray flex seal, I decided to do all the rivets just for safety. We're gonna find out if you can actually fix leaks in a canoe with flex seal. So I'm gonna start by going ahead and pulling this tape up. It can't do that much, and if it does, we need to fix it another way. After spraying all the leaky rivets, it wasn't good enough for the boss. She wanted all that ugly green covered with Flex Seal. And what a great decision it made. It turned out fantastic. Just ran out of my first can of Flex Seal. As you can tell, I've gotten quite a ways through, but I still have this end. So, I'm about to crack my second can of Flex Seal. And look how that landed. <laughs> and as you can imagine, the outside didn't cut it for her either. So, I found a matching Krylon Paint Plus Primer. It's a pewter color which matches perfect. And now it's the moment we've been waiting for. It's time to give this shark some bite. I start by making two stencils. One, which is the whole mouth, and the second one, which is the teeth and mouth. Okay, so once this is dry to the touch, we're just gonna slide this down a little because we just want this barely a little rim here. As you can tell, it's starting to sprinkle. So, hopefully I'll finish this. I'm just gonna scoop this up just enough to get a little bit of that black underneath. And so I scoot it up just a little towards the camera. And that's gonna give me just a little black lip under the stencil. And this is gonna be the teeth. I want to make sure these teeth really look good. Okay, here's the moment we're waiting for the big mouth. It's going to just lay right on top here. Hey friends, if you're enjoying this video, I know you'll love my other video, How to Paint Your Canoe to Look Like Uranus. Check that out. There you have it. Okay, so I touched up the other side. This is the other, other side. And I'm gonna do it a little different on this side. I'm gonna leave this stencil here. I'm gonna pull these rocks off, put the other stencil on top. I think it'll make it cleaner. Might have to redo the whole thing. We'll take a look. Not bad. Okay, how many noticed that I did it the opposite as I did down on the other side? So, I'm going to redo it. I've laid the stencil back out. I'm going to do this side black and this side red. <laughs> Thank you. 
And now it's time for the eye. I went online and found an eye I really liked, made a two-piece stencil. There you have it. It's time to get this daddy shark on the lake and see if it floats. Two days later. Hey friends, thanks for watching. Be sure and do all the stuff. Here we are in the lake. So far so good, but I don't want to spoil it for you. We load this canoe down and take it to the middle of Table Rock Lake. Okay, wish us luck. We're on our way to Hack Island where we spend the night and try out some of my favorite camping hacks. You'll have to wait till our next video to see if this thing really sinks or swims.